people are biking more and more in Austin, uh, in the center part of the city. This is about 40 square miles, about the size of San Francisco. We're up to about five or six percent mode share. People are biking on bicycle lanes that we've been retrofitting, pulling parking out of bike lanes. We've been adding protected bike lanes. We have things like the Pfluger Bridge, uh, a 10 plus million dollar bike and pedestrian only bridge. We're connecting our trails to our on-street protected lanes, to our quiet streets, and just making a, a whole network. A lot of people are moving into Austin because they want to be on their bikes, they want to walk, they want to be in the cars. We have problems here in Austin with the uh, traffic, so people walking and biking, it's an attraction for people from outside Texas to come and live here. It's a fantastic place. It's, it's such an active culture, um, people running, biking, and getting around uh, the city. There's a great deal of vitality and vibrancy to the place. So the first thing that we're going to get on and we're going to return to at the end of the tour is this 3rd Street protected bike lane. The project you see here is a protected bike lane here on 3rd. This is our premier bike facility in downtown. It's our premier east-west connection uh, between our radial routes coming in and out of central uh, Austin. And it's painted concrete, so it's, it's a pink paint here. Uh, the raised barrier is a device that can actually be removed. Uh, so, you know, at some point this street will need to be repaved. You got to think in four dimensions, not just east, west, north, south, and up and down, but also in that time dimension. How do you maintain these facilities? Austin is, um, you know, a bicycle friendly community. It's a silver right now, and they want to become a gold. And now Austin is doing such a great job, all their staff, all the people, all the community, to move forward and uh, getting all this uh, cycle track network, all these uh, trails done. I'd say in the last five or six years, the bike facilities here have grown tremendously. And uh, people come here just to ride the hundreds of miles of paths that they're planning on building around town. Really excited about retooling. Uh, the way we're looking at bicycling as a tool to bring benefit to the city rather than just serve people to bike. Um, oh, yeah. and, and one of the number one ways we're doing that is looking at creating a complete network of all ages and abilities bicycle facilities. So we are on the uh, Fluger Bridge. This is a bike and pedestrian bridge. And uh, I really consider this sort of the heart of uh, physical activity here in, uh, in Austin. So we're on the Fluger Bridge now. This is probably Austin's best public space. There's uh, huge gatherings, rides you, uh, oftentimes leave from the bridge. You can come here any time of day and see people um, riding, walking, uh, taking time to linger. You get some of the best views of the city from here. You can look out onto Ladybird Lake and it really is a fantastic activity asset for the city. Uh, I guess it started five or six years ago. Um, you know, it was a, people love to do group rides. It's just kind of a rolling party that organically kind of happened. Uh, we like to think of the social ride as something like a polite critical mass. You know that they're, they're observing the stoplights, they're not trying to piss anybody off. They generally do a really good job of marshalling each other and watching each other through intersections without upsetting the other road users. A real structure in the organization of the whole thing. It's just uh, people like riding bikes and having fun and socializing and partying with each other. I think the first one I ever went on was less than 30 people and I know I've hosted some with over 500 people on the floor, so. We have zero conflict between authorities and the social rides in Austin. My shop name is Flowers on the Fly, um, but I am the cutest little succulent cart in Austin. So I came up with this idea of just going out on an ice cream bike and just setting up all over town like where all the good foot traffic is and just using my bike as a display and as a store, like a mobile store. A lot of um, succulents and cactus, um, just because they're a lot easier to uh, handle and to care for. So it's worked out pretty much as like the best job I've ever come up with and I'm doing it full time now. We pick up compost from uh, houses and businesses and pretty much connect them with urban farms and uh, local gardens in the area. I do this a couple times a week. I pretty much I have a route and I pick up the compost and then I drop it off at a, this place called Springdale Farms over on the east side and yeah, it's a lot of fun. This is Austin Bike Tours and Rentals. We're a downtown bike rental shop. 
Uh, we operate out of a shipping container. Pretty simple operation. We rent bikes to tourists or we give them tours, show them a good time. I mean, I just heard two ladies today riding down on some bikes. They weren't any of ours, but they were saying how safe they felt while they were riding. So I would imagine those ladies wouldn't be riding unless that facility was right here. Biking in Austin is great. I can think of very few trips that I, I can get to faster by driving. It's a great way to beat congestion. It's fun. The weather is great most of the year. I didn't have a bike for the first two years I lived here, and once I got one, it, it changed my life. I stopped driving everywhere. If you live centrally, you can, you can bike everywhere, and it's often quicker than driving because the traffic's so bad. All the people from maybe California, from uh, New York, and all these places are moving here. And uh, you know, Austin is growing very quick. And I think it's one of the best communities to move in and to grow at this moment.